If there is something really frustrating when you work with Excel, it's when you open a workbook and this workbook has a lot of connection with other workbooks. And most of the time, those workbooks don't exist anymore. So what you have to do is to break this relation between your workbook and the other workbook. And for that, there is two solutions. The first one and the easiest one is to use Excel Online. And also there is an add-in made by Billmanville. I show you the two solutions. So here I have opened office.com, which is my office portal, and I have added my credential here. And I'm going to open the workbook where I have a lot of external connection. I have to sign in. And when I open this workbook, you can see that I have a warning because this workbook has external data connections. So I enable them. And then the second message tells you that Excel is not able to refresh all the link. That means there is some link broken. But when I click here on this button, I display a pan where I can see the name of the different workbooks and you can see the name of the workbook where there is a problem. And if I want to break all the link, it's very easy. I just have to click here and I can break all the links of this workbook. But here there is something I cannot do, it's to track all the links and to check them one by one. But if you want to do that, it's better for you to use the add-in of Billmanville, a former Excel MVP. I explain to you how to use the add-in. So first, let's download the add-in from this page and I will give you the page on the description of the video. And I click here to download the add-in. I copy it from the download file to the folder where I want to use it. Right click and I unzip it. Very important! You must check that the file hasn't been blocked by Windows. It's something that Bill Manville has explained on his website. So let's check if the file hasn't been blocked. And to do that, you just have to right click on your file and go to properties and here in properties if the file is blocked you have here an option but here it's not the case so when it's done i reopen excel and now i go to file options and here i have the add-ins menu there i go here browse and i'm going to select the folder where i have copied the add-in like this and OK. And now I go to data. And as you can see, I have here a new icon. And this is the icon to launch the program to check the links. And what I have to do now is to open the document where I have broken links. So here again, I have all the dialog box. And now I go to data and I click on this option. So the tool is very simple. Here I have a simple dialog box where I can select what I want to scan. I want to scan all the XLS document connected with this active file. But it's not only the extension XLS, it could be also XLSX or XLSM. That means everything starting with XLS. And if you want to specify just XLSX, you can change this settings directly here. And then here you have three options and I always use this one personally. That means no message or deletion, just make a list of links found. And when I click OK, the tool has generated a new workbook where I have all the different connections with a problem. And more than that, you have here the sheet name where is a problem and also the type of object because you can have cell name, pivot table, button, range, and so on. So now let's check for each different problem. So for the first one, it's a problem with a name range. So I go to formula, name manager. In the name manager, I can find the name where I have a problem. It's exactly the same. And here you can see why there is a problem. It's because this connection doesn't exist anymore. And then next problem, it's a button, button in sheet two. So I open the sheet two.
and here you can see the button. And this is the main problem when you have external connection broken because most of the people think the problem is inside a formula, but it could be also a chart or a button, and it's the case here. And then, third problem, still in the same worksheet, again, here I have formula, and again, the workbook doesn't exist. And finally, I have another problem here in sheet 1. This time, it's the source of this pivot table that doesn't exist. Let's check. So, I open the pivot table properties, and here in change data source, I can see that the source of this pivot table doesn't exist. So, as you can see, the add-in gives you a lot of information, much more than the option with Excel Online. But it depends what you want to do. If you just want to track all the different connections, it's very easy to use Excel Online. But if you want to track each different links, it's better to use the add-in.